Greetings, race fans. Manic Beast Boise here, owner of Recovery Lawn and Garden in Boise, Idaho. I just bought this brand new DR 30 inch mower. It says it's 224 cc's, which is one more than the Toro Time Master. How amazing is that? Um, I just took it out of the box. I think it was uh, three or four hundred dollars cheaper than the Time Master, but they delivered it on a pallet with, with a uh, forklift came on this pallet so you take it out of the box you doesn't come with the oil you got to buy your own oil so it's like 17 to 20 ounces of uh, small engine oil put some gas in that sucker Here's the box I'm gonna burn this later but anyway I have five Toro time masters I've been using them for about five years I'm pretty good with changing everything on them the, Drive cables, the uh, blade engagement cables, the height adjustment lever, all that stuff. Uh, they're $1,600 now, and $1,600 is quite a bit more than $1,000. So what I used to do is I would buy a couple of Time Masters, run them for a year, and then sell them on Craigslist. Instead of $1,000, I sell them for like $800 or something. Then I'd take that money and go buy a new one. But because they're $1,600, $1,700 now... I was looking to see if I could get a Time Master on like Mowers Direct or something, but this one popped up when I when I did a 30 inch mower. So I figured, hey, what the hell, DR, they make those brush trimmers and the brush hogs and the string trimmers on wheels and whatever. So I figured it's a good quality brand, so I figured I'd give it a shot. But I just did the front of my lawn and I did a couple of stripes down here. I just got back from Alaska. I was on vacation for a week and all this crap's all over my lawn. I got a sycamore. I live here in Idaho. These sycamores get in the heat. The hot, it was 109 the other day, and they start sloughing all this bark off of here. It looks like leaves, but you see this stuff here? So it's all over my yard. It's just a mess. It, it uh, gets matted in the lawn. It kills grass. Leaves uh, big dead spots in your lawn, so you got to get it up. So I mulch the front yard. It comes with a mulch plug, a pretty cheap mulch plug, but seems to work to keep the grass clippings up under the deck and it has a really small bag the bag is tiny compared to the time master i think the time master is two bushels or something this one's weird you uh you take these little clips it has little clips see that right there on the top and it fits into that little slot right there but it doesn't want to go all the time you gotta I mulch 99% of the time, unless it's uh, spring or fall cleanups anyway, but um, so far it's pretty cool. I, uh, it comes with a little key, so you gotta turn it on before you start it. This is the blade engagement. You push this down to engage the blades. This is the drive lever. It's kind of weird. It's kind of, kind of a hassle to keep the drive engagement, uh, the blade engagement on there, but I'm gonna fire this sucker up. Oh. All four of the uh, tires work with one lever, so that's kind of handy. You know, one of the first things that goes out on those Time Masters is the height adjustment lever. You go over a bump in your trailer, knock that sucker out, you'll never get it back in there. You might as well just take the thing off and replace it. And the front ones are pretty cheap too, I mean on the Time Master. But these wheels are, seem kind of flimsy. It's not as heavy duty as the Time Master, but I mean, for $600 less, I'll give it a shot. So, my dogs. To start it, you just turn the key. I already put the oil and the gas in here, so you gotta make sure you turn the key. That's how you turn it off, too, so.
that's not too bad. Got most of it up. Let's try it again. not too bad considering this uh, sycamore bark I was telling you is uh, it's thicker than leaves and it's heavier so when it gets wet it's really hard to, to mulch up I mean uh, bag up so anyway all in all my overall impressions of this thing having it for about an hour now is I would say it's definitely worth a thousand dollars we'll see how long it takes to break the drive cable and how easy that is to fix. Um, you know how that goes with the Time Master. So uh, it's dual blades, 224 cc's, like I said. It's got a lifetime warranty on the deck, I'm assuming. So I should probably read the paperwork, but all in all, I would say for a thousand bucks, or think of, I think I paid $1,250 to ship it. So 1,300 bucks saved, uh, I don't know, 500 bucks, including the shipping of the Time Master, because most of the uh, Home Depots and uh, Legacy Feed and Fuel and other mower um, retailers here, the steel dealers and all that, they don't have them. You have to order them, so they're going to have to pay the freight. I got this at Tractor Supply. It was $1,200 plus $50 for shipping, and I got it in about a week. So I would give it, uh, I would definitely give it probably a B so far just because it's got that 30 inch deck i can't go back to a 21 it takes three times longer to do somebody's lawn but anyway um i would definitely say yeah go ahead and check one out man drop 1200 bucks on it i don't know how long it's gonna last before something breaks but subscribe to my channel like it and subscribe to that sucker and uh anything comes up i'll post it on there but anyway uh manic beast boise here have a great day wherever you are